A new man passing by. Life is good. Best I've ever felt. Hi. We had a bit of an unfortunate early morning this morning. I am just barely getting out of bed. I actually have been out of bed for like a half hour. It's 9.30. Um, I'm down here because this is where the unfortunate <laughs> event occurred. I think something else happened yesterday or the day before that Kaylee's not talking to me about. I'm not positive. Um, I think that our dear rooster, there's the light, our dear rooster this morning was rooster ring. Let's just put it that way. And I was like, Katie, you gotta get out of bed. And it was like 7.30. And luckily Chelsea was already out there, or down here, and heard it and went out there because we can't have it roostering. In case you're new, we can't have this rooster. Haven't convinced our kids that we can't have this rooster. So, um, Chelsea was trying to calm it down, but I guess, and I don't have all the details, um, and I don't know if Kaylee will give them to me. I guess the rooster has started to maybe kind of attack. It attacked her, actually. I don't know that it's attacking the other hen, um, but part of the problem this morning was that it was just, it was making tons of noise and it, making attacking motions toward Kaylee and for like no reason it was just really acting aggressive and Kaylee just came up to me well she called up to me because my room overlooks the patio she kind of hollered, hollered up to me and she says I don't know what else I can do and I could tell that she had emotion in her voice which is why I'm not going to make her like talk to you guys about it she said I don't know if there's anything else I can do for it um I need a box and I know that was hard for her to decide to do this morning um, can I just do dirty? um so I helped her find a box in the garage actually she got a storage bin and hopefully she was able to just take it over to Jacob's house um they have that's where they all came from that's where all the chickens came from so hopefully, and yes, I'm doing Ashley's dishes because I just, <laughs> this is every morning, breakfast, drink, cups, soaking. But um, anyway, she's been there for about an hour and a half now. She got the chicken put into a box around 8 a.m. So I feel bad. She took them over there. Hopefully they mesh well with the other chickens. I mean, they are family. But I think, as we've kind of seen from the other hand that they try to bring over, that once you're kind of away from your family, you don't actually care. <laughs> they become enemies. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I don't know if she'll talk to me. She's got to come home and get ready. She literally is in her pajamas. She hasn't showered. She hasn't done herself. Like nothing for the day. So... I do feel bad, and I felt bad all along, knowing we couldn't keep these dang chickens. But they are beloved by these kids of mine, and I wish for them. We lived on a farm, and we could have animals and dogs and cats and things like that that could mostly stay outside or have the ability to roam free when they needed to, but we don't. So that's how my day started. <laughs> I just want the kitchen clean. It's a little bit chaotic here. Um, also, Ashley has a new business of making slime. I have told her about five times to clean the slime mess up over the past two days, but that hasn't happened. Oh, come on. Sorry about that. My battery died. Ashley has been making slime when her friend comes over and they've made a little business we'll see if it actually works but I just I feel bad oh my kids leave the lights on um anyway I 
making it a habit to get up and put workout clothes on, even if I can't go work out right away, freezing cold, actually. So, getting a sweatshirt, and I didn't film yesterday, but I used my little armband, and I walked five miles, felt great. I actually walked three miles, and was feeling really tired. <laughs> I was like, oh, I could just go home. I could just go home. But I looked at the time and I was like, I have an hour, a little over an hour. If I walk a little bit more in that hour, I can go home and almost immediately take Ashley. Well, Ashley would be home from school. Her friend rode home on the bus with her and I would have time to relax before I immediately had to take her to cheer, which normally I walk during cheer um, and I left the door open for my friend to call me and will have me walk again. So I was like, okay, I could do that. I could do that. I could just stop and leave it open to um, walk again tonight. So I sat in my car after I went to the bathroom at the park <laughs> and had a drink of water. And um, I was like, nope, let's just get out. I had 40 minutes left on a podcast I was listening to. And so I went ahead and, did I take my medicine? I went ahead and listened to my podcast for 40 minutes, I finished the podcast, and then looked at the, uh, hang on, sorry. I listened to the end of my podcast and I looked at the um, mileage on my watch and I was just shy of five miles. And so I was like, okay, let's do another lap. So I did another lap, listened to music, and, um, and I ended up having to walk the parking lot <laughs> back and forth for just a second in order to finish my five miles. Um, and by the end of the day, I had officially walked six miles. So there's my my mark for how much I walked yesterday. I need to create a community post. Uh, I forgot to take a picture of myself yesterday. I should have done that one because I like that shirt better. But um, but anyway, I digress. Uh, I made a community picture post. You guys could put your little daily exercise tracking in that. We're officially putting these away. This is the second time we pulled them back out. <laughs> she does not have any more performances. This is where the other purple, purple and gold ones go until that season starts this summer. But we have a month and a half. Actually, almost two months before that starts. So, put my phones away. I'm all over the place, but this is my morning. This is what I do. I, you know, I watch certain channels. I uh, can't do that one-handed. One but I watch certain channels, um, and I feel like they're mostly authentic. Sometimes I feel like they're a little too happy too often <clears throat> to be real. I don't think that they necessarily show all the real. <laughs> but um, they just stand there and they don't do anything while they're talking and while they're filming and stuff. And I'm like, do something, do something. Like right now I'm putting away medicine. I'm cleaning up my kitchen. And like, sometimes it's, I do just stand, oh dear, oh dear. Do your um, Tupperware cupboards ever threaten you in the mornings? Yeah, that was a big threat. That was, that almost came down on me. Let's just, let's just shut that up. <laughs> Anyway, I just can't sit still. I can't like not be doing something in the mornings, but I haven't had breakfast yet. Um, so I'm gonna have breakfast and then I'm gonna go walking. Abby did, she was, I asked her yesterday, I was like, if I waited for you to get home from school, would you go walking with me? Cause she was actually kind of intrigued by that when I asked her yesterday and she's like, what time are you gonna go? So I thought that would be kind of fun. She might drive separate. Maybe I'll text her now. She's almost done with school. Maybe if she drives separate, she'll be more inclined to come because she can leave when she wants to versus just having to sit in the car and wait for me. And I don't want to be pressured to leave myself because it's super sunny. We're still in a good 12 day track of, um, I'm putting these uh, cotton balls in a mason jar. So anyway, that's good. Take those upstairs. So I'm gonna text Abby, see if she wants to go Maybe I wait for her depending on if she wants a ride. Maybe I just go back to this. This is what we went upstairs to get. I used this yesterday, walked five miles. My elbow felt great. 
so this did help a ton I did have stiffness I did it did hurt to bend my arm um, at the end of my five miles within like the last mile mile and a half it was starting to hurt to bend and like right now just holding the camera any use with my arm hurts um, and I don't use my left hand very often except for filming and walking so this came in handy so I'm actually gonna put it on now um, and wear this while I go walking actually I should put it on when I'm holding my camera I should try that just to be like funny not funny but like like just to test it just to see if this will help my arm not hurt when I'm holding the camera not that I'm gonna put this on all the time but let's just see one of you is texting me should we do this live should we see who's texting me where's my phone one of you is hang on and I know that because it's my Instagram and uh, only you guys text me on my Instagram oh it's not wait come on maybe it's not oh that's a bummer but one of you did text me and said I should do a video about the slushies we make I haven't done them for a year since last summer um, but we also need some more syrups, which is what we were talking about the other day. Okay. Long story short, I don't think I tightened this well enough. Where's the end? It's kind of hard to like figure out how tight is too tight, but you need it to be effective. So it really does like pull on that lower muscle versus um, my elbow. I can actually feel the tension coming from my, um, now, I'm not, now I don't need this. Um, I can feel it coming from my arm versus my elbow, which is fantastic. Okay, let me get some stuff done. And then I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna bring you along for the walk, but um, maybe, maybe just a little bit. I go to the same place, it's a little bit repetitive, but I thought about this yesterday. Uh, I, 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 can't, I can't put them in one-handed. I thought about this yesterday. I'm like, maybe this is repetitive for me. I'm like, maybe I need to find something else to do. And there's other places I could go walking. But I like that I know exactly how many laps I can do to get a mile. Um, but it's repetitive to go to the gym. And I, it'll be repetitive to be on my treadmill in the wintertime. You know? So I'm going to do it outside while I can. Also... Can you see? I'm gonna come over here. I got sunburned yesterday, because again, I forgot. Come on, this is like really stark light. Okay, there we go. So I did get sunburn across here and my nose and a little bit right here on my cheeks, but I put the, what is it? Um, what is ELF? It's the Sun Glow Sunscreen Primer. It's in a yellow, it's a white bottle with yellow like labeling on it. I just get it from Target. Um, but I put that on this morning and not only is it going to be good sunscreen for me, um, to wear, but it turned it to like this nice little like bronzing glow. So I'm not so, one, it turned it from red to like a, a bronzy glow and then two, it'll be like a good sunscreen. So that was quite nice. And I actually might wear it more often during the summer. It'll be kind of like this way of like looking like I kind of have like a foundation on, but it's not like, it's not makeup-y like a makeup. You know what I mean? It's just a primer and it's just sunscreen, but it doesn't feel, it's it's good. You should check it out. Trying to see if I can wear these. There's two pairs left on the counter here. Hi, this is Jason. Thanks for calling. Let's try him at work. The store just opened, so Let's see if he'll answer the store. He's probably just barely unlocking the doors. Hey. Hey, the socks that are on the counter, can I wear them? Yes. Yeah? And can you or can you order some dance go ones like the ones we have? Oh, uh, yeah. Remind me tonight or something. I know. I've already... Okay. Because uh, the, the, the toes in the dance go ones aren't thick. That's why I like them. You have to show me what they are. Yeah, I, on top of my head right now, I don't remember, but... Okay. All right. Thank you. Yep. Love you. Bye. Okay, I'll take these socks upstairs. Those are probably just for him, along with that. And also, I got myself some flowers. <laughs> I love Trader Joe's flowers. 
So I picked up some peonies and you guys, yesterday, I literally got these yesterday and I liked getting the ones. Don't be fooled, don't get these ones this size or bigger when you're at the store to get peonies. Get the ones that are still tightly bound. This is how big they were yesterday. And I like finding ones that are even like different stages of being tight, like super tight so you can't even see the color. Um, but anyway, because then they kind of open up at different stages. But here they are today, and I forgot that I had this cute, cute jar. This is like an apple juice jar. Does it have a handle on it? Nope. It's just an apple juice jar that I have repurposed into a vase. And if you have just the right amount of peonies and thick stems, then you can get them all in there. But I just needed a new little um, flower to go here, and I want color versus like my other ones that I have in here um, that I kind of had up during the you know January February March age where there's like no flowers no no color in the atmosphere at that time of day time of year okay making myself a hash brown and Abby said she not only would go on a walk with me but she said she would go to Costco with me after and it smells like milk in here I'm trying hard you guys I tried to get to Friday but it didn't work and Jason's probably gonna have to like go on a walk let's see if that's like a new drink that I can save but it means I'm gonna wipe out the fridge here I'm not gonna make you dizzy that whole time I'm just gonna wipe it out here okay not a deep dive clean but it is cleaned out um, it tells me what we need I can't read the expiration on these but I found them clear underneath They're oh March one so yeah this drawer here, we have an ice problem again, as you can see right there. Don't buy a Samsung. If we ever have a lotto that we win, we will get a new fridge. But this is locked, and I can't get into it. I can't pull it open. So these got stuck in the very back, and they are expired. Okay, I'm here with Abby, and I have never been able to get my phone out quick, quick enough. <laughs> These little you. snakes have been on the trail this year. Yeah, chase it off the trail. Go, go. Bye-bye. They're not even venomous. It's just a little garden snake. Yeah, but it's still a snake. Okay. We walked until we got a call from the nurse at Ashley's school. You want to push it? Yeah, I'll push. And so we just pushed and got three miles in. Abby's a speed walker, so we got it done very fast got three miles in I think I'm gonna go back I don't, check our list I think we're done I think so. we can go this way and get in line so we took Ashley some cold medicine Those and bars, do you want oh yeah let's go this way yeah I'll show you here what we have in a second um, but we finished our walk took Ashley some medicine luckily I had some in the car and then we came to Target or to Costco and here's our Paul, note to self, don't bring teenage daughter <laughs> to Costco. There's pizza, poppy, um, cheese dip, Panera mac and cheese that are extras, Hawaiian rolls. These ones have me worried because there's only like one box of these left on the shelf, which means it could be like being gone. Uh, they're over in the snack section. I'll go get them. Uh, I've got some vitamin waters for Ashley fries or a chicken is on rebate until like Friday so I can get her from afar it's quite handy to have her here we put them into bags inside inside outside all the boxes and all the drinks and the bread well, while Abby and I were driving home um, I got a notice on my Tesla app that our car alarm was going off, but I was in my car, so I knew it was Jason's car. Unfortunately, someone just hit it and ran. Luckily, our cars record everything, and a bystander watched it happen and got a photo of the guy's license plate, a better photo. He knew our car would get a photo of it, but um, he like, so Jason's now on the phone with non-emergency PD because he's reporting it as a hit and run it's like there's an actual gouge like the metal is actually cut he's pissed <laughs> he's really mad so 
we'll get all the footage, we'll show you. I literally have an appointment to get my car fixed. And now his is broken, or hit. It's like, can we just catch a break? I'm on the phone with Jason. That is the damage. So it's actually ripped through the metal, dented it's it, scraped it, scratched the whole thing. So sorry, hon. I've never had a car get hit so many. I feel bad for <laughs> Like it sucks. Like we are not the ones doing damage to our dang cars. <laughs> the cop just arrived to talk to Jason. The biggest problem that we have is that we don't want another claim on our insurance. So we don't want to run it through our insurance, which means we need the police to get a hold of this guy. One police officer is actually like going in the direction because there was a witness. I think I don't say, I don't say, say that quite yet. There was a witness that watched it happen and then took a photo of the guy who did it like in his car and the picture of the license plate and has given that to Jason. So then Jason quickly called the cops and the cops, they were both able to say exactly what direction the guy was going in. And so the cops are, they had someone close enough that they are gonna go and try and track down the guy. And if they can get a hold of him, like if they can actually pull him over, then they can get the insurance information from him. But the problem is if we can't get a hold of him and get insurance, yeah, he might get a ticket for a hit and run, but we don't have his insurance information. I don't think, I mean, the cops aren't gonna have that information and I just don't wanna put another claim, we don't wanna put another claim on our insurance. Um, just cause we technically, even though it's a raccoon, what do they call it, comprehensive? insurance claim it's not technically a ding against us on the damage I'm getting fixed quite literally next week or the week after I think it's the week kids get out of school I I, I don't know why I did it then I did it when they're out of school um, okay Jason's texting me so anyway we're hoping that we can actually track down the guy this just sucks we'll show you the footage as soon as Jason gets home I'll show you what it all looks like because he literally ran into the back of the car and then ditched out okay i have come back to the park because it's only 1 30 well it's two o'clock now um i have it's two o'clock i could edit for an hour with this video unfinished waiting for jason's footage i'm waiting for him to talk to the cops and all that kind of stuff um the cop did just interview the witness that watched it happen um and then I would probably sit and watch Netflix for a couple hours because I don't have anything else to do. Instead, I am just gonna go walk off my aggression that another car of ours was hit. <laughs> I can still edit this afternoon. I can still watch TV tonight. So I might as well walk. I'm trying to be motivated. I'm gonna try and do another three miles. So six for the day. We probably walked another mile. <laughs> Maybe we got another mile in at Costco. Um, so anyway we're gonna see what i'll just be back with you when jason's home probably and show you the actual proof of the accident and the cops love that we have all of this information they're gonna send him a link tuesday once the claim is all processed not claim yeah case well the case is created this weekend i was snacking on some blueberries driving over here he'll be able to upload the videos he's already sent the cop the the photo of the car that did it and the damage that's done and they actually will probably have a whole little case file on with that license which actually might show the guy's insurance or at least the name of the insurance company and we have a license plate so we can call the insurance company of his and give him the license plate and say guess what you're paying for this we have all the footage so um and i called my insurance our insurance because somehow we don't have an insurance card for um january to june <laughs> Uh, I guess they inst installed a new system where you have to like go online and download your insurance card and, and have it with you that way. And I don't do it that way. I want a paper copy. So Jason went to get his insurance for the cop just to prove that he did have insurance. We realized that they both expired, both his and mine. Like uh, the card we have in our, in our car, in our wallet, I have it here. Is it expired? But it's not expired. I just, I don't have an updated one with me. So I called the insurance company 
and they are mailing me the card for June and it turns over and renews in July. And I was like, I want hard copies. It's annoying to not have that because when you have to provide that information to a cop when you get pulled over or an accident like this, I don't want to have to download it from the website. Like, I'm not going to do that. I'll be back with you when he is home later tonight, probably. Oh, here's Chelsea. She's with yeah. me. She's going to a choir concert and the name of her school is on yeah. there. Is it the name of the school? Is it literally on there? Oh, oh it is. So. Um, is but I got a, a weird email and it said that they had a package at the post office a um, in a like a special locker. What did I just ask if it's a puzzle and you're ignoring <laughs> Well, me. you're giving it away. Oh, is that actually what it is? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. That's Turn what I was asking. I didn't know. Well, I was I was getting there. This pick, Where is the little thing? So I was going to read the little card. Rogers. Hang it. Hang on. All right. We came parked in the in the shade. shade. <laughs> okay. So I didn't know what this package was because I haven't gotten any notification from my P.O. box except for this email that I got today. I even thought it was like, like a spam email. So I like double checked everything and I was like, well, I think it's legit. And so came and checked and the note says something, something for Some one. Thing. <laughs> I've said it wrong a couple times. I'm something for one of your many rainy days. Enjoy from Pamela. And I am so thankful. Chelsea guessed it correctly. It is a puzzle. And luckily we actually have rainy or sunny days now for the next 10 days. Um, but that'll be a fun one. Yeah. That's a really fun one. I wonder, actually wonder what beach it is. Does it actually say? Um, inspirational beach, it doesn't really say. <laughs> Without fail. Without fail. That one was by accident. It's, I know. I know. Usually you do it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a fun little pick me up. Say? I don't know. It's just a random it's beach. So okay. We're headed to her choir concert. Uh, Jason is going to do some more stuff at work, so he's not going to make it for the concert. Um, and he, I don't know if he's heard more about the car, but we'll find out tonight when he gets there. We just got home. I'm so sorry. This is like a literal hole. Yeah. So like what the heck? He started scraping here and he pushed so hard it then probably pushed on some sort of internal frame thing that then broke it. It's like a whole slice. Yeah. Probably gouged the side of his little Honda Accord. Yeah, but seriously, Honda Accord that's like 20 years old versus like our brand new cars that keep getting... But why are you I I'm just so sick of it. And guess what? Every single time... We have been stopped. Yes. We aren't on the physical road. I was stopped in a light. Well, the, the ding, the windshield what, rock, the rock oh, that's chip. That's rock. That's nature. That's rock chip. That's nature. That's life. That that's was hours thing. after so the I last one. I was stopped in a light and he bumped and so, into me. Yeah. If I'd had the car for like 10 years, I wouldn't have worn it. I know, but they're brand new cars. Like We've six never months. bought. Six months. We've never bought brand new cars. And now this freaking happens. I know. I'm so sorry. Yeah, and then someone swiped your car too. So. I know. Well, I know. Yeah. What am I, I just to told Jason that I needed a thumbnail picture with the car, and I told him to bend down. <laughs> Would you like to show them what you did? Yeah, I was like, what am I supposed to do, this? <laughs> All right, well. All right, I'm going to go get the footage. Um, we'll show you that. We'll show you the accident, and then we're going to sign off because we're both pretty tired today, and... I gotta go mail a package. I wanna Are go you gonna for run down? No, I'm gonna drive down. I wanna go for a hike tomorrow. Okay. I gotta scream in the woods. <laughs> I had to bleep out your, your your some words that you've already shared. My adult hey, what, adult expletives. Your adult expletives. Sometimes it's just the it only was way the to most adult describe ex yes. a certain situation. Yes. I just had to It's perfectly fine. It is. It was fine.